short years, Industry City has gone from being a bunch of abandoned warehouses to a thriving area in Sunset Park that houses hundreds of businesses. Oh, it's happening. There are a ton of new restaurants, shops, even art galleries. Crystal Young explored some of the fun, looking good over there. What's going on, Crystal? <laughs> well, let me give you a little backstory on Industry City. Years ago, before all those docks were on the west side, it was the main area where goods came into and out of New York City. After a while, those buildings fell in disrepair. They didn't use it anymore. And a few years ago, a developer said, wait a minute, it's waterfront. This huge buildings. Do something with it. And and that is exactly what they did. It's an amazing area, so take a look. Industry City has revived the waterfront in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Its 16 buildings and 6 million square feet of space house artisan shops, galleries, and eateries. Since it's now home to more than 750 businesses, I thought it was time to check it out. My first stop, Brooklyn Candle Studios. It was a very citrusy scent, and I actually got it because it wasn't too strong of a citrus scent. Okay. And that's what I actually really like. Okay. I did buy two, so it did come up to about 34 and some change. Couldn't pass up one of the city's oldest chocolate shops. Lilac is a New York tradition. One of the most popular products here is the butter crunch. Mmm so delicious but i am madly in love with this handbag for 42 bucks how cute is that i've always been fascinated by 3d printers it's unbelievable the kinds of things they can make these fake weapons look like they're straight out of game of thrones and if you can imagine it eye maker can bring it to life we 3d design the model based on the sketches even from a picture um, from a from a photo and then we can use the 3d printer to print them up At Armatrano Gallery, you can snag a one-of-a-kind vase or a piece of handmade jewelry. Let's start with these bottles. Very interesting. Where'd you get that? This is a milk jug from Whole Foods, and I collaged different kinds of imagery. Like, this one is a Buddhist okay. subject matter, and then it has, like, little birds, and this has a resin coating, so it's waterproof for durability. It, they are actually used for holding flowers. They start from $45, and then they go up to over 1000 This piece is one of my um, signature styles. This has weaving that's with copper wire and old gemstones, freshwater pearls. Um, there's a little bit of turquoise, and it's one of these pieces where if you wear this somewhere, they'll know it's my work. Joanne shares a space with artist Dean Russo. I'm just doing details over a print, gotcha. which was an original painting, but we sell the print over and over again, and we just embellish it. When you come to Industry City, you have tons of food options, but I decided to try Taza Market. Come on. This place specializes in modern Indian cooking that's flavorful and not heavy. So I wanted to know, what are the best sellers? My masala mac and cheese, which I like to call my life in a bowl. Being Indian, growing up in New York, we always came up with things like this. Delicious. But when you get hungry, you've got lots of options. From burgers to Thai, it's all under one roof. And finally, Brooklyn Intense has a popular ginger liqueur that's vegan, kosher, gluten-free, and I'm told, delicious. It's a main ingredient in their frozen Moscow mule, but I decided to try their iced coffee. It's four ounces of cold brew. It's um, a espresso vodka that's made on Long Island. Mm -hmm. It's our ginger liqueur, and then we top that with a bourbon cream from up in Rochester. I'm an adult, and I'm going to sip adult iced coffee. Right here. Come on. Come. You too. <laughs> Get on in this. Tasty stuff. Industry City is unique New York, a destination for so many things that will inspire the question, where'd you get that? Very nice. Thank you. For yes. That. yes. You know, I have to say there's even events that happen on Saturday and Sunday. Nice. There's really cool courtyards in between all of the buildings and they'll bring in DJs, have dance parties, people lay out and tan. It, it's a cool destination spot to check out maybe like a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Why all not? right. Yeah. Go. Why not? Okay. Okay. We're well like that. We're going. All right. All right. Do it. And report Crystal. back. Okay. We okay. will. Okay. Coming up on Good Day. An unbelievable look at the rare.